Welcome back guys, cheers for watching and today I'm here with Ethior and we're checking out the Defiant Refit which he's just finished up. So as you can see he's got a real clean model, the silhouette's very accurate. Um, was this one built, was this converted or hand built? I can't remember. Was I that, think it was, was I think it was converted. It was not, a model. I, yeah, I think someone took a model and just smashed it through bin vox and made this and just built it by hand using the view vox from there yeah yeah because this uh kind of thing came out before uh sm edit did so right. he would have had to build it by hand yeah yeah so he probably used a layer tool or something because there's a bin vox layer tool you can get and it'll show yep. you layer by layer where to put it or he could have just done it by eye we don't know he could have done it both he, both yeah, ways yeah, he could have done it a hybrid technique but in any case, so what are the uh, changes that you've made to this particular model? Well, inside, in keep, inside I've re uh, the model comes uh, stripped down and hollow. Okay. So you're left to build, uh, put in your own innards. Okay. So what I've basically done is uh, using some of the more advanced techniques for building reactors. I started out with a simple, uh, and this is going to be an oxymoron, but a simple advanced reactor where it's simple like a simple advanced reactor, yeah, yeah. Where it's a where it's a checkerboard strip of uh, alternating power shield, power shield in the back wall. Yeah. And uh, I split that up into pipes that follow the ceiling all the way up to the very front of the ship. Okay. Oh, and by the front, I mean the, like the forward nose. They run all the way into the front of the ship, where it, you can't get into because there's no physical access yep. uh, in astronaut mode, wh unless you like picking up blocks from the floor or, what, or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, then I've branched out further by uh, going over to the side and building six. Super, adv uh, super advanced reactors, the 9927s. Oh yeah, this is that technique you were telling me about where you were hooking up the 9927 to your grid. Yeah, and I found two ways to do it and I utilized them both. Ah, very nice. Because uh, like each reactor has a, is like two reactors in one. You, the outer layer wraps around it like uh, candy cane swirls and then you got the core of it. Yeah, yeah. Which runs straight up the middle, and I, and it, and since they're not connected, they're like two separate power sources. So, I've connected them to, I connected them to the vis, to uh, whichever logical pipe was clo was closest to them. Yeah, and it does have, uh, it it's got, it has an additive effect. Yeah, it has a, it had an additive effect. Excellent. Because uh, right now, for something that looked this uh, cramped and small, its power output is. Very bloody near three quarter, um, three quarters of a million. That's like. Let's take a look. Wow. Okay. So we've got a mass of three thousand blocks. The length is one hundred and twenty-one. The height eighteen meters. Uh, the width is eighty-three meters. Uh, the power you're looking at three hundred eighty-five thousand total. Um, the recharge would be three hundred fifty-one thousand three hundred twenty-six per second. He's got thrust 6,698. Uh, you misread the power recharge. That's 751,326. Oh, okay. Um, That's what I meant by three quarters of a million. So three quarters of a million, yeah. Um, and then the shields, 305,480, uh, with a recharge of just under 7,000 per second and a recovery of three. Three seconds to be kick in the uh, region in mid combat, yes. or after you immediately leave a combat. Um, it's got, if, as per uh, deep uh, deep space nine, it's got four major antimatter cannon arrays. Okay, do you want to show me? Yeah, uh, I have to reset them again. It seems. Really? Is there some not firing? Yeah, it looks like what's happening is every time I log out and log back in, the game forgets what I've assigned to what. Yeah. So I'm going to fix that and we'll get back to it. Oh, that but it's was got, weird. But it's got four antimatter cannon banks, 
each one is capable of uh, output of 600 points per pulse. Yeah. And uh, using the D DPS formula I found on the forums, that amounts to uh, close to, I believe, 30,000 DPS. So yeah, just so that, just in case anybody wanted to know, that damage formula, damage divided oh. by reload times a thousand. Or, it, or I think that was uh, I think that was more like one thousand divided by reload times damage. It's the same same difference because it's a convert. It's one of those equations that can be done both ways. It's a triangular equation. Yeah. But basically, and, I do damage divided by reload times a thousand because it's just a bit easier to remember. When you've got four of these cannons, that amounts to like twenty nine point nine thousand DPS. So. To me, that's the same as saying got thirty thousand. Yeah. Uh, it's got two uh, SDBB missile banks. Yep. And they do four hundred damage each. So. And that and that keeps in and that's in keeping with this show. I mean, I could pop in more if I wanted to. Yep. But I feel like do adding more would just break the. Uh, would just break the immersion of the ship even though the inside is a mess okay let's try this again weapons um, oh there we go that's better oh very nice and missiles oh nice I've had to color code their ports so I could tell where they're supposed to come from But, uh, they've got an effective range of, uh, let's look, 1,239 meters. So that's nice. almost, as, so you could shoot someone from a sector and a half away. And the funny thing is, if you can, if you can hit them with your missiles from that far away, their shields will not, uh, kick in. It'll act like they weren't even there. Yeah. Which is good for sneak attacks, but bad if they happen to be in builder mode, uh, working on the outside of their ship and see the missiles coming at them. And uh, for for a ship this small, um, its thrust value of nearly of nearly seven thousand means uh, well, turn off that view mode, go to the front camera. It basically translates to general good all maneuver maneuverability. If I could avoid hitting the shop there. I mean, just look at that. I'll hold still. I'll hold still. Go, go, go. I am moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just holding still. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oops! <laughs> I'm going after it. But, yeah. What? It... Up, 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 up. Whoa. You that guys it, yes. completely smashed into each other. <laughs> well, I think actually you ploughed into him. <laughs> yeah, I hit R at the wrong time. Oh, Oops. you got out of the ship. Yeah, I hit R at the wrong time. <laughs> it kicked me out. Oh, man. Let's try that again, shall we? How's our buddy doing over here? We've got another person who's just come to join today. Yeah. We'll have a, have a look at him in a minute. So, right then, it's time for the ballistics tests. Ballistics tests? Hold on, I'm trying to get back in the core. Uh, if it's not no moving on. Uh, okay, so we spawned in the ablative gel and we're going to do the firing tests. So, Ethior, if you'd like to take it away with a single click shot. Yeah, um, there you go. One click, right now. Just let me wait for those chunks to update. Come on. There we go, right. So, what we've got there is three. Is it three or four back? I think it's it looks like three. three. Back. Yeah, it's three back. Okay, cool. Uh, now, can you give me one second pulse? One Mississippi. Nice. Let's wait for that to load up. Come on. There we go. Nice. Let's take a look at that from the angle. So it's got about seven. And these missiles. Oh, don't do the um, missiles yet. you got to shoot all the way to the end first. Right, sustained fire test now, please, buddy. Because the rate of fire can sometimes, you know, be a thing. It's like hitting for 600 since these are like unarmored blocks. That 
is interesting. It is lagging. It is. It is lagging, but it's the firing pattern that you're making. Just it's keep... kind of. I'm still. I'm still working on it. Cool. Just keep firing till you get to that core. It's just a bit of a shame. Whoa. because Normally it updates. You know. Yeah, it is. Uh, my mouse twitched. Ah, there we go. Boom. It's starting What's to update what's... now. So as you can see, because his layout is uh, sort of their level horizontally, it's a very narrow uh, I mean, pattern in the gel. But if you look at it from the top, obviously they're quite far apart, and so there's the cone. And it's drawing a cone through the material, getting, and it'll get wider and wider and wider, but it'll always go from the point of firing to the point of uh, target. So obviously it's got to chew through more the wider your guns are apart. It's interesting. I'm learning quite a bit from doing this ballistics gel. It's interesting. Yeah. Because you can and see... And I it. it looks like it's going to take a while to get down there. It is going to take a while. Because of the way that your guns are set up, the further they go, they have to go back to the beginning and chew another line all the way through. But that's good, because when you're shooting a ship, that means you literally take out a triangular wedge of their ship along the axis of fire. It also means they lose more shield blocks in the in the way. Yeah, yeah, it so does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would agree that. I would agree. Or they'll get destroyed and won't be recharging anything. It right. looks like it's going out the other end now. Oh, never mind. No. Let's come out this end and have a look. It does look like you're getting close, but it's funny because it's like your your f shots get close. And then as they get wider, they have to start back at the front face again. And it's just making the triangle wider, 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 wider. Let's try aiming there. Because it's hard to see the core now through all of this. Just aim for the... Uh, I'm aiming for the little grayish diamond. The, yeah, just look for the green hit marker and you, you know, it'll, it'll auto-aim. But that's, yeah, that's the any block I aim at turns the marker green. And it takes, like I say, it's taking ages because you're actually making the. F every time you go one block further, roughly, you're getting. You have to make it one block wider all the way down the triangle. Roughly, it's not really quite that, but because of the way the angles work, but that's basically what's happening here. And so, it's. And it has its positive benefits, like taking out more shields and power blocks in the way, weakening the ship further. Hmm. Yeah, it's cutting a perfect wedge all the way down there. I'm just going to look at it from a different angle. You can even see, actually, it's kind of a fatter wedge at the corners than in the middle. Yep. <laughs> And this is the power of well, 30k DPS in a tiny in a pocket battleship. I mean, it may not eat through Titans very quickly, but if but uh, you're man more maneuverable than they are. It's doing damage against a slow-moving target. It's going to cause problems because if you cut through their power area, right? Yeah. We've nearly made it. We've nearly made it. Well, uh, whoa. there we go. Oh no, you keep shooting. You nearly, you nearly got him. Oh, what's happening? Oh, you're shooting through it, and it's gone to dumbfire mode. Look, it's not, focusing, yeah. it's not focusing in. So what? You can't shoot the core. There we go. I've adjusted a little to the left. Got to kill it, and man. And gone through again. Got to kill it, man. Well, if it'll let me zoom in. Just got to get that mouse right over the okay. core. Ah, that's all right. Mean, you've got through the. You've, you've punched through the uh, entire length now. So I that's the think point. I that's the see point. the core. By all means, keep trying. Let me know if you hit it. So, as you can see there, um, we also got the unfocused fire blast pattern because it, when uh, you go through the other end, the target has nothing to lock onto, and so it just fires in the pattern that they are set out on the ship. As you can see, that's where they're coming from, that's where they are. And uh, yeah, it's uh, quite a nice little wedge design there. Huh. 
I like the pattern. There it goes. Ah, uh, you got it. Core overheat. Uh, <laughs> I like beautiful. how it's, it does form a wedge when you look at it from the top. It does. It's beautiful. It's like an arrowhead. It is, yeah. So, I mean, I'm just going to go down for a closer look in build mode. And then we'll have a look at those rockets. So, yeah. Actually, Havoc was piloting it, and I think he fired the missiles by accident or something. And, uh, cause and went, you got caught in the explosion. To yeah, because when, when you fire when you fire the docking laser to, laser to map the weapons, sometimes it maps them in a funny place. So he obviously hit a button thinking it was empty to unmount, and it actually mounted the. Uh, so, and it was only a couple, so I know he was telling the truth because it was like not even the big one. You know, it was like. All right. Yeah. But anyway. Show and us, here show goes. Us and here go the missiles. There you go. Two direct hits. Let's see. And get this. Range I'll be able to fire. I can fire again right now. Whoa, you can what now? Oh, so you've set them up for high rate of fire? Yes. Okay, so they're not quite as powerful, but you can just continuous barrage. Yeah, watch. Keep watching, and there goes another load. Yeah, yeah, he's ready, ready to go again. Beautiful. Well done. Right, so yeah, I mean, I'd say that would be, that's uh, the Defiant refit as Mr. Ethior has finished. And, um, and uh, it was named after a class of ship in Star Trek Online, the Sao Paulo class. Sao Paulo, right. Cool. It's a nice little ship. So thanks for watching. That was an awesome ship you showed me there, dude. Can't wait to see your next one. Um, thanks to everybody watching for watching. Hit subscribe and uh, see you next time.